We have been talking a lot about the airline chaos uh, and especially the storms that have crippled uh, so many operations. But this story is not about Southwest Airlines. It's a different airline, but with significant consequences because of the storm. A man in Alaska uh, was waiting for a heart transplant. After only having been on the transplant list for a few weeks, Patrick Holland got a call that a donor match had been found and that he was getting a healthy heart. But things quickly turned when the flight he was on couldn't make it from Alaska to Seattle because of the storm. His wife writing in part on Facebook, quote, the past 25 hours, the most traumatic, difficult hours of Patrick's life. Numerous times his hopes and dreams were lifted to astounding heights and then left to tumble down to the lowest depths of nightmarish proportions, often in the blink of an eye. The cycle repeated itself over and over. Patrick Holland is with us. His canceled flight meant losing a chance for that heart transplant. And I, I want to be clear, uh, this, what airline was this? It was Alaska's, uh, Alaska Airline. Okay, and it's because of the storm, correct? Yes, because of the storm. I'm, I'm appreciating. Alaska Airline, oh, they, they, to, they jumped through hoops to get me, to get me there. I'm so, I'm so glad, and, and I'm happen, so, so sorry it didn't happen. Can you explain to people, we just heard what your wife wrote, what it has been like for you because you couldn't get to Seattle to get the transplant? Um, it was uh, it was excellent. It was terrifying news to hear that I was going to get a transplant. To be honest with you, I was terrified. And then I was excited. Um, so we caught the first flight out. We got to the airport and it was it was packed, uh, which is unusual. It was it was packed because flights were being canceled and I didn't realize that until I went to the kiosk and my flight was canceled. And uh, after waiting in line for an hour, panicking, realizing my flight was leaving in a half an hour, I, uh, I waved down a, a woman that worked for Alaska Airlines and I, and I told her the situation, said, hey, I'm on a heart transplant. This is crucial. And she, she waved me to the front of the line and um, she said, yeah, your flight has been canceled. And then, I, and then my heart sank and, uh, she said, I will get you on a plane. And, and she did, she got me on a plane. And, uh, from there we were, we were diverted about halfway through. I didn't know that because, uh, they had announced it, but I guess during my excitement of getting a heart was, uh, yeah. was overwhelming. So <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> but we we uh, we were in flight for about four hours, and I heard the um, the pilot say that, "Hey, welcome to Anchorage," and and I thought he must be really tired because we've been in the air for about four hours, oh. and it doesn't take four hours to get to Anchorage. And uh, and uh, a lady overheard me tell my brother that, and she she looked over, she said, "My phone says Anchorage," and then I started to panic. And then my phone said Anchorage, and uh, yeah, and all my worst fears were were uh, overwhelming me because when you when you hear that you're like there's there's somebody um, donating a heart and they don't I don't imagine they can wait that long because uh, the longer it waits the the longer uh, uh, the tissue decomposes so. Um, she said, don't worry. She said, this heart's for you. We're going to wait and catch the next flight immediately. And, and I, so I said, okay, great. Then I was, I was lifted again. I was like, this is, this is going to happen. And, uh, we got it. We got another flight scheduled for like 45 minutes later. Um, there was a gentleman Roy there who just accommodated us like, like not, I mean, I, I was impressed. I was amazed. He checked on me every 10 minutes and, um, he walked back with very bad news that that can the flight was canceled again. So then I called the uh, heart transplant coordinator and she explained to me that let's not give up, let's keep trying. But I realized in Anchorage at the time, there was also a storm going on. I mean, it was crazy to watch it from out the windows. Yeah. And then the second flight got canceled and then the third flight got canceled. And, and, and then I knew at this point, I knew, I told my brother, I said, the next phone call is not gonna be good. And uh, just as I was calling her, she was calling me back to tell me that they were going to give the heart to somebody else. I cannot, so. I, I can't imagine getting that phone call. I mean, you're only 56 yeah. years old. You look younger. You're yeah. only 56. 
And you have a three-year-old. I think we have some some images you. we can show of you and your child and your family to our viewers because this is what the heart means yes. to you, right? This is about, look at that. Yes. This is about being able that to was, run around uh, after your three-year-old. Right. It's, it's, it's tough to, to, uh, to have a body that wants to run, but not to have a heart that will let you. So, mm. um, it's, it takes away a lot, but you know, I, and on, on the same side, I, I believed that somebody else was going to get a miracle yeah. gift. So we just prayed for them. So there are somewhere, on. somebody else was going to, yeah. So, uh, you got to look at the bright side of things. On the bright side, I got to go back home to my family and have a good Christmas with them again. And there is a big part of me that feels like I let them down for, by not being in Seattle. Mm. So I, I blame my, I blame myself for that part for not. Hey, Patrick. Um, no. Because I once I heard I was active, I I could have immediately made plans to be there. I just had no idea it was going to happen so fast because I'm, I was near the bottom of the list on number six. So I had no clue. And, and, and we, from all the stories we've watched, it takes months. Yeah. And it just happened to be a miracle to be, get an offer after two and a half weeks. And I, I just, I feel like I should have been more proactive in being there. So I'll be there next week. Please if, don't. If uh, things work out with, Please don't blame. Please don't blame yourself. This is not your fault. And let let can we end it on some good news? It's, you've had some pretty amazing people yeah. reach out to you from Seattle, where you need to be, yeah. and offer some pretty great things yeah, for been, you. Yes, it's been uh, it's been really great. Um, I've had I've had plans with three different people that I know that live in Seattle. Um, one one was met with uh, foul play, and and. Two others, it just family members moved back in and, and it was just, just wasn't working out. So I was uh, actually looking through my churches that I'm involved with to come up with, a, with an idea. And we were working on something and then it, um, that's when I got the call. So I just wish I could have been there. And, uh, you know, it's they work miracles nowadays and someone got a miracle. So yeah. that's, that's what my hope was. I think it shows what that a, someone else got to appreciate the extra time. I think it uh, shows you know? what a, what a big heart you have. And we're all praying for your new heart when that's to come. That's right. Patrick Holland, good luck and that's come, right. come yeah. back and keep us posted. All right. Thank you. We will. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you for having me.